hello everybody Welcome, welcome to our single player Sunday Hope you guys are doing well today As you can see we have our void cat in the background He is a good boy and we love him <sighs> Are you guys ready for today? Because I don't know that I am To be quite honest with you <laughs> It is going to be Going to be interesting I do Weirdly enough have a um, counter running in terms of you know how many times our dear captain passes away because let's be real it's it's going to happen it is going to happen we lost oh god you know I don't even remember how many captains we wound up losing last time it's terrible um, <laughs> that said our death counter is going to be starting from zero today um, hopefully it'll be fine. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to, um, figure out how to get that to display on the stream right now. I was trying, uh, before we got started and it just did not want to actually cooperate. Um, so this, this might be a tiny bit tricky. We can do it, obviously. It's just going to be tricky. Um, hold on. I'm trying very hard to remember how to actually do this. But the last time I did this, I did this. Oh, God. I don't even remember. Hey, Gailey, how you doing? Uh, the last time we had a death counter running, it was during our Vampire the Masquerade stream. So, that was a while ago. I'm trying to remember how to actually get that to show up on the freaking stream. Um, hopefully, it actually will. Um... I don't know. Like obviously, I know it's here. I'm just not entirely sure how to get this to actively display on the thing. It is running, though, so. I'm uh, struggling to finish an accounting chapter so I can do the quiz tonight. Oh. You can do it. I have faith. I have faith in you. Gotta motivate myself to do Ring Fit tonight. I wish you much luck with that. I wish you more luck than I tend to have. Because <laughs> I gotta tell you, motivating myself to try to do things I, my brain does not want to actually do is trickier than one might expect. Um. <laughs> oh, gee. What even? What track is this? Ah. So, I do have the Sunless Sea soundtrack running in the background right now. I don't know if you can tell in this track. I haven't actually heard before. I haven't listened to this whole thing yet, so I don't know what it's like. Um, <laughs> so, I'm definitely having a moment of, oh, how does this work now? Huh. <sighs> Uh, Gailey's had a ton of extensions and falling further and further behind in this class. I'm not happy about it. Understandable. Also, yes, get to the honk before Antu does. Because <laughs> <sighs> as we all know, Antu loves the honk. And usually, we love Antu. Usually, Antu winds up taking it first. Before other people do. So... <laughs> this time, Auntie will not be able to. <laughs> Anyhow, <sighs> we've got our void in the background. As we can see, he is being obliging and actually staying where people are going to be able to see him today, which is nice. Um, generally, he likes to try to hide right behind my chair. So I always feel bad that I'm covering like a decent amount of him, but today he's like centered, sort of. 
which is nice. Um, to anybody watching, though, because you will be able to see better than I will, if you notice the void um, by the door back here, could somebody please let me know so I can free him? Because I can't really tell where he is. Unless I, like, actively turn. And that's not something I'm going to be really focused on doing while I'm streaming. So if somebody could just be like, hey, the void wants out. Or free the void. That would be appreciated. <laughs> as soon as I get this chapter done, even if I don't complete everything, I'm back on track. And I'd rather be back on track with a few lost marks and permanently behind because I'm being a perfectionist. I, I don't blame you for rambling. Feel free to do so. That is what we are here for. Um, well, sort of, I guess. But <laughs> school is indeed hard. It is hard. So I honestly do not mind about rambling or anything like that. I do not. Okay, this piece is definitely a vibe. Read the VOID. <laughs> that works too. That works too. <laughs> the void is currently resting, so he's good, but if at any point he winds up back there, just please somebody let me know. <laughs> His void cat currently naps. Also, Gailey, thank you for the bits. Much appreciated. <sighs> so, before we get too far into things tonight, Tonight. Wow, why am I saying tonight? It's clearly the afternoon. It is clearly the freaking afternoon. What What even is my brain? I don't know. I do not know. Um, <laughs> I keep forgetting I have bits to use like that. Please feel free to give all of the bits. Well, not all of the bits. Save them for other streamers, but I appreciate any that you wish to throw in my general direction. <sighs> so before we get too far into anything today, um, I just want to remind you all that our channel is now part of a, not necessarily a team here on Twitch, but a wonderful group of streamers called The Nest. Um, they are an awesome group of people. This literally happened before I went live on Thursday, so it's very exciting. Um, there are a whole bunch of awesome people, neurodiverse friends, and LGBTQ plus people. Um, they're just, they're awesome beans, and I love them all. Um, there are links in the panels down below if you want to come and check out the Discord. We also have a command in chat if folks want a link to that. But, um, please feel free to come and check it out. Um, nothing is going to really be changing for us, specifically. The Forge is still going to exist. The Forge Discord will still exist. Speaking of the nest... Hi, Jinx! How are you doing? <laughs> Jinx is one of our nesty buddies. <laughs> yes, just speaking of the nest, it is an awesome group of people. Um, the Forge Discord is going to stay... I'm obviously, I'm not going to force anybody to come over and check out the nest. Um, but if you would like to do so, and also find some other awesome streamers to check out, like our friend Jinx here, um, please go and check it out. Again, there are links if you type exclamation mark nest into chat, or check out the panels down below. The nest people are awesome people. Please come and join us. Um, I'm pretty good. I mean, I've got a void cat behind me, so how can I really complain? He is an adorable void. He is currently in a ball, but he exists. And, you know, can you really be upset when you have a cat behind you? The stream team used to have a Discord, but we changed it to member-related stuff because we all have our own personal servers. We're bad at multitasking. Understandable. Understandable. Um, he is indeed. He's not a pure void. He does have some white on him. 
that you can see any of it. Thank you for the follow, Jinx, by the way. Um, he is actually a tuxedo flavored void. Um, he has little white socks. It is adorable, but you can't see them because of how he's positioned. But at least he's positioned somewhere where you guys can actually see all of him. Generally, he tends to like hide behind my chair, so it's actually kind of nice that he's curled up on that edge there. <laughs> he is a good boy, and I love him. <laughs> I might come and hang out, but I'm in so many Discord servers, it's ridiculous. I mean, that is fair. That is fair. There is absolutely no pressure to come and join folks in the nest. They're just awesome people, and I just... I want to flail about them more, to be quite honest. <laughs> oh no, I did say void. I do say void. He is a void cat. Sort of. I am indeed saying V-O-I-D. <laughs> um, I, however, make no guarantees as to what my closed captioning is saying I'm saying. Because it is notoriously bad with some words. Um. <laughs> just like, whenever I sign off, I say, you know, bye, guys. And I have seen my closed captions translate that as pie, as... Fly. I've seen it translated as like weird words that are not at all what I've been actually saying. So I cannot really speak for the automated closed captions. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're better than nothing. Because again, I, I want my, ch my stream to be kind of accessible while I'm live. But with something like this, it's never going to be completely perfect. It's just doing the best it can. So I have to give it props for that, but at the same time, it's a little like... Do, do you even know what I'm saying? Are you registering it as the right thing? Like, I have no way of correcting it either. It's just automatically captures and does the best it can. So it's... It's a bit odd, but we try. We try. My closed captions need to be set at to UK English because it doesn't seem to recognize me as North American. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gailey. I just... <laughs> I think you said... I don't think your English sounds more like a British pronunciation. So I, I don't know what the closed captions are doing for you, to be quite honest. <laughs> like, what the heck? You, you clearly do not have, like, a UK lilt. I, I don't understand. Also, hi, sound. How you doing? I freaking love that emote, by the way. That is an adorable pastel emote. I, I'm here for it. I know my stream is like constantly littered with more spooky stuff, but I love me a good pastel. Which some of you have heard me. I have an accent, but we know it's not that different. Exactly. Exactly. It's not. So I don't understand why... <laughs> Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Like, what if it is with closed caption software, to be honest? That's all goth. Excellent, excellent. Uh, it That is a style I don't know if I could actually rock, because I, I like black too much and some colors, but... To be fair, it's come a long way. It really has. It really has. Like, we absolutely cannot deny that. It, there's just always room for improvement. Let's just say that. <laughs> there's absolutely room for improvement. Um, but yes, we might have some new friends coming and joining us in the Nest Discord sound. 
So, all right. So, what do you guys say to us actually going and exploring some more of the Enter's A because it is a dark and mysterious place, and I there's a place somewhere further north I probably should not go. But you know what? I want to do it anyway. Because there was a place I really should have found the last time, and I absolutely did not find it. So, we are going to try our best to find the thing. Um, let's see. Gailey be curious to ask how their program determines captioning, like maybe the words I use or speech patterns via just accent. Because I do use less American terminology, so I don't know. Yeah, maybe that is what it gets caught up on, but I... Again, I don't know. I'm not the person who codes these things. My coding knowledge is... Probably, like, stinky baby levels. So... <laughs> I absolutely could not help in that regard. I'm a nerd, I'd love to know. Hmm. You know, the one I use, you might be able to contact the person who made it and just like find out, but again, I don't know um, what one you're currently using for yours. Some, some of these closed caption things do have like Discord servers where you can ask questions and stuff like that. My coding knowledge is definitely stinky baby levels. I gave up as soon as I realized JavaScript throws rules out the window. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Oh my god, I'm dying. I know that's accurate with like my minimal coding knowledge, but just the mental image of just... <laughs> My brain is legitimately picturing, like, a bucket that's just labeled JavaScript rules that is being, like, chucked straight out the window. Hi, Yumi! How are you? Welcome, welcome. Um, again, we've got our void cat behind us back here. Um, speaking of, if somebody could just let me know if at any point you see him by the door back here in the background. Uh, if you could just let me know... So I can free him, I would appreciate it. Because I can't see him once I'm in the game. <laughs> Thank you very much in advance. My JavaScript professor, JavaScript is stupid. You will learn that this semester. I like your JavaScript professor. <laughs> I like them very much. I've been researching what I need to do to make a crafter character in Imagine. How's your research going, Yumi? Oh, one more thing. <laughs> Hi, E! Welcome, welcome. You're just in time. We have not actually start yet. started yet. So, before I flip on over to the game and we start... Continuing our exploration of the Ender Z. Um, just a couple of things. First off, if at any time you see the void behind me, by this door in the background, could somebody please let me know? <laughs> so I can release him. Because once I have the game up, I cannot see my webcam or behind me very well. Also, these headphones sort of muffle the ambient noise in the room I'm in. So I can't even hear him jump off the bed. So if one of you could just let me know so I can open the door and let him out, that would be great. Um, second of all, we do have a death counter running for today. Um, it is sadly not going to be displayed on the stream right now. Because I could not figure out how to get it to do that. Um, that is fair, Gailey. Thank you for coming by. 
Uh, but we do, we'll have a death counter running for our dear captain. Um, so mods, if at any time uh, my death is witnessed, feel free to use the appropriate death commands and the counter will go up. Again, sadly, it will not be displayed on the stream for today because I could not get it to display despite my best efforts. Hopefully for next week, it will actually physically be present. Um, but right now, it's just not. Thank you for understanding. Um, I'll show you should teach me how to do a death counter one day so I can program it into my headset. Oh my god, that is wonderful. I can try. Um, the chatbot I use is different from stream elements, so it, it might be a bit tricky, but it is doable. All right. Hey, why is that a thing? Welcome, welcome. You are just in time. We're about to get going on our exploration. Um, I'm not sure how long this particular captain is going to survive for. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> um, as we all know, the first time I did this, my first captain lasted like maybe five minutes. I... <laughs> But we are continuing from our last time, so we lost a captain literally at the end of last stream. So hopefully, you know, we've learned from the previous deaths and our captain will actually survive this time. Maybe. As long as it's the same general rules. Most of my commands are doubled up, so stream elements and my headset both respond. Cool, cool. I don't know how to do the headset thing, to be honest. Um, because these headphones are not your headphones. <laughs> they are an older generation. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's got the scythe. Look out. Um. <laughs> this is okay, though. This is normal. This is perfectly normal. The thing I absolutely love about this game when I began is that basically when you load the game up it flat out tells you oh your first captain is probably going to die so just you know be prepared for that your captain will die and I had to admit it well, your captain dying is very much a sobering experience. <laughs> it happens. I want to make sure that my people have food. Your captains will die. Um, begin this time. We have a gunner. Apparently, oh, we don't have a surgeon this time. It's fine. Um, I don't want to use all of my money because I do need... Make sure I have fuel, too. <laughs> Dying lives for me. <laughs> Basically, yes. Um, currently, we are in Fallen London. And for anybody who does not know the background of this, um, there is a browser game. It used to be called Echo Bazaar. It is currently Fallen London. The premise of this is that... London basically fell into a series of subterranean tunnels. Hence, fall in London. It literally fell. Um, so, the Undersea, which is in the underground, is basically what we're exploring on. There's a chance for your characters to lose it entirely. There is a chance for you to basically, potentially, eat your crew. Which is fun. Sarcasm, sarcasm. Um, <laughs> you know. Usual ridiculousness. Um, basically. The one thing I also really like about this. Is your character. Does not necessarily have to have a gender. If you don't want them to. Which is pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. Um. <laughs> 
it's something I also really enjoyed from Fallen London itself, where basically when you're creating your character for Fallen London, your options were like, yep, I'm a man, I'm a woman, or sir or madam, or whatever you are. This There's places like creatures with tentacles, and you're concerned about my gender. What is wrong with you? <laughs> so this is just one of many profile images you can choose for your captain. I want the more mysterious route. As you can see, uh, this guy needs to go to Hunter's Keep. I'm not sure I remember where that is. But... This character is running with the map of my previous captain, so... It should be fine. Oh, that's right, the Labyrinth of Tigers is open now. Um... In the morning gazette because the newspaper might be useful. Let's see. Echo Bazaar, that enigmatic marketplace, has increased its tax on love stories. The traitor empress has forbidden singing in the street outside her palace. The anarchists of the calendar council have inexplicably dynamited a drinking fountain. The Ministry of Public Decency has located and destroyed a nest of gallbladder wasps. Recent news is incredibly useful. <laughs> A mood, yes. Gender is for those that have excessive time or money to dedicate towards such a masquerade. It's true. It is true. Gender is expensive. F it. Um, <laughs> yeah, not about that. Um, let's see. That we have... We have a... Gunner, he was with us now. Now, let's see, why did she come to the Z? It's like the flit at Z, right? No one tells you what to say or do, and no one to kick you downstairs just because you got a little bit tall. I'll be a faithful officer, but put me short at the shadow, and I won't forget you. <laughs> Excellent. So we also, at some point, need to get enough money to improve our gun, because our gun is legitimately terrible. Okay. Where's my map? Okay, so we have to bring this guy up to Hunter's Keep. And then there was a place further north that we needed to go, but north, north of Vendor Bite is a bit treacherous. Um, as I have learned, anything... I don't know how well you guys can see this, like, gr this brown line here. Um, anything past this, like, the f this map is huge. We've barely discovered, like, decent amounts of this. But, like, anything past here, the further, um, the further east we get is apparently, I went and looked this up, it's apparently the domain of one of the gods down here. So there is a chance I might accidentally piss off an underworld deity if I go that far. <laughs> um, so that will be interesting. Oh god, how do I even... I'm legitimately blanking on how exactly I start the ship. This is terrible. This is terrible. I've, I'm away from this for, like, weeks, and I'm blanking on rules and how this ship works. Um, oh god. I thought it was this. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. It's fine. I don't want to go too fast, because the faster I go, the quicker I run out of fuel, and, um... It's not great. That's the last thing I want to do. Um, genderless swarm of bees in a human suit is amazing. I would agree. Uh, so the only reason my map is currently existing as it is is because this is a map of places I've been with previous captains. I've made a point of saving it just for my own sanity. 
even though we haven't discovered too much. And the reason for that is every single time it will be different. Otherwise. Um, <laughs> the map will change. Like, literally the only constant location is, I believe, Fallen London itself. Otherwise, everything is completely different and weird. So, part of the reason we keep maps from previous captains, because we can do that when they die, is so... This is where this guy wanted to go, so let's come in here and dock. Indeed. The university student wanted to come here. But let's first introduce or present ourselves at the house. A maid with smoldering topaz eyes shows you into the parlor where three young women wait. A visitor, the youngest cries. The next youngest chuckles. The eldest sighs. Do you excuse the indecorum, she says. Visitors are rare. You're very welcome. I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe. The cheerful one is Lucy. You're in a good time for lunch. Will you join us? So now we've made acquaintance with the Sisters of the Keep. Um, let us see. We are going to talk to... Let's talk to Lucy. I feel like we don't really talk to her that often. Lucy leans over and whispers to you confidently. A complex story about a butler, a pig, and an inheritance. You don't follow all the details of the plot, but somehow the pig ends up in an attic and the butler in a vicar's bed. Candles flicker, dishes enter and leave, and the wind butts gently at the window panes. By the time the plum pudding arrives, you're as cheerful as you've been in months. So in doing this, we gain supplies, we lose hunger, which is great, but now we have the gods of the Z, Stone's attention. Stone is one of the three deities down here, and I don't know if this is good or bad. Uh, let's see. Let's reconnoiter the island. What's here? <clears throat> Ships rarely come here. Nothing changes, even the weather. The house is the heart of the isle, the house and the sisters. But the Admiralty may be happy to know that nothing's changed, at least. So we can bring these reports back to London and get some money from the Admiralty in the process, which is pretty nice. Um, let's see. Did you? Uh, let's inspect this Lorne fluke. The anxious student rushes by you, whooping, but stops in the hilltop. On the shore, standing before the mass of dead needles, is a drowny in a Nuncian postal uniform. He glowers up at you. This is not where the fluke belongs, the drowny cries in a plummy voice. It's to be taken elsewhere. It already has a delivery label. That means I have to deliver it. The student sneers. Sod your label. Captain, help me haul this beast to Station 3. My advisor at the college has arranged room there for its di dissection and study. My work will benefit us all. And now I get to choose where the corpse goes. So I can either bring it to Station 3 or transport it to Nuncio. I'm not sure where Nuncio is exactly. I don't think it's one of the places I've been yet. Um... However, I feel like it's a bad idea to piss off the Postal Service, so... <laughs> the Lorne Fluke is tied by very reluctant sailors to drag behind your stern. On your deck, the drowning postman smiles, relieved. I was worried you wouldn't understand. Take me to Nancy at your ledge. He glances over the railing. The anxious student stands on the shore, shouting and swearing at you. Tears fall from his eyes. The drowning shrugs and heads below deck. So, now I have to figure out where the heck Nuncio is. I don't know that it was a space I actually uncovered yet. So, <laughs> I need to figure out where the heck that is down here. Um, there's clearly areas I haven't poked at yet. But, I'm not sure where this thing is. Um... I'm hoping it's not, like, too far out, because I don't think I have supplies to last me that long. 
Um, <laughs> so that's going to be a thing. Um, there's some places that are, I hesitate to say somewhat permanent, but um, there are some things that are. I'm just trying to get a vague idea of where exactly this place is supposed to be on other maps that people have pieced together, but... So I won't stay in their sections of the Z, though they scramble. Oh boy. Oh great. So if I'm looking at this map, um... If I'm right, Nuncio is a long way out. <laughs> Oh, boy. Nuncio's a long way out. I don't think I have the supplies for that. This is going to be interesting. <sighs> I absolutely do not think I have the supplies for that. <sighs> that is a long way out. That is a long way out. Uh, okay. Yeah, we absolutely need more fuel before we even think about doing that. And money. Absolutely. Yeah. I just, I worry about going too far because of, you know, we don't have a whole lot of stuff on us right now. Also, this fog is really ominous and I don't know how I feel about it. I know this is the wrong way, it's fine. Dust echoes, even a sepia tint to the air. Oh god, why? Why? Okay, um... Do not fuck with me, sir. But I don't want to ram into it! They're landing better hits on me than I'm landing on them. It's very frustrating. actually hit me in here and hit me decently. God. Okay, let's explore the wreckage. A sailor has grown fretful and disobedient, reluctant to go on deck, even in port. There's a white Z-bat watching me up there. Salt's messenger. Salt's got its eye on me. I'll never see home again. So our options are Sailor Superstition, order him up on deck at once. One of the nameless gods that Sailors fear, the Sailor's conscientious man, send him to the sick bay on the pretext of a fever. I can feed the Z-Bat, um, or shoot it. I'm not gonna shoot it, because especially in the fog, that is a bad decision. That is a terrible decision. Um, uh, yeah, let's feed it. If white Z-Bats are sacred to salt, maybe you'll win salt's favor, if you believe any of this. The Z-Bat takes fungal crackers from your fingers as boldly as a parrot. It dips its head to you and chirps something you might mistake for speech. It spreads its wings and leaps into the air. The next day, your crewman is gone, along with one of the ship's boats. No one saw him depart, or knows why. You now have the gods of the Z, Salt's attention. You know something of the three gods of the Z. I have five fragments, and I've lost a crew member. Cool. Um, can I... I apparently can't pick that up, it's fine. is that? Oh, that's terror. Okay. 
That's a terror situation. Z bats cry out. They're nothing like birds. I mean, yes, they are not, absolutely. I mean, you have to drive over it. Ah. Okay, that'd be why. These are places I've absolutely been previously. Um, we're gonna come in over here. We're gonna be dragging this freaking Lorn Fluke behind our ship for a while. I feel bad. Uh -huh, let's see. Let's explore Vendor Bite. Here they favor candlelight over gaslight. The shadows are swagged like cobwebs. The tomb colonists stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture until they laugh or cough. One building in three seems abandoned. Dead fir trees have carpeted a little park with old brown needles. A little group of tomb colonists stands around another lying on a, be on a bench. Unexpectedly, you find yourself reminded of physicians and midwives at birth and couch. The colonists on the beach. The bench, he's old, withered to sticks, groans horribly, though the fur needles deaden the sound. Something moves in his chest like a sea creature surfacing, or a butterfly breaching a cocoon. The other colonists spot you and close ranks around him. Stay back, Silkskin, when hisses. This is his breaking out. Your time will come. There's a kind of rapture in her voice. You've gained one tale of terror. You've gained one terror. And fifteen fragments. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get, gather some gossip. Along the coast of the Undersea, it's remarkably hard to die. The decrepit and nearly dead leave London, become tomb colonists, and settle here in bandaged peace. But they don't give up their ties to home or their politics. You gather a hall of complex clues enough to keep your contacts in London interested. Visit the fear first curator, huh? Z captains, the first curator gives audience. The first curator is responsible for the preservation of the tomb colonies. It has been here much longer than London, like all the oldest tomb colonists. But even tomb colonists dissolve in the end. Its time is close. No more light, the obsequious steward cautions you. The curator is terribly afraid of moths. He opens a door and you step into the darkness. A pair of luminous lamplighter bees buzz in a latticed ivory tube. There's no other source of light. A banded shape, no larger than a child, lies crumpled on a couch. It lifts its head with obvious effort. It takes several seconds for you to distinguish its voice from the soft buzz of the bees. Hmm. Listen to a whispered request. Z, Captain. Silkskin. Not much left of me. I will go into the Grand Sanatorium. Bring me colors. Seven colors. Pay well. Seven colors? Cosmogon, Irigo, Pelagon. Steward has the list. Find them here and there across the wide black Z. Um, ask about the Grand Sanatorium. Oh, Silkskin. You don't want to know. The chuckling becomes a cough. We don't die here below. Not unless we go to Z. So we needed something else somewhere to end. That sounds very creepy. Um, I guess we're going to accept this. Thank you. This poor flesh thirst for colors. No more words. It collapses, rustling back on the couch. Even at eff the effort of speaking seems to have diminished it a little. The audience is over. As the door opens, it shrinks from the finger of light that reaches across the floor. Outside, the obsequious steward nods. The book? Yes, the book. He hands you a slim, illustrated volume. The curator is old, old as dust. We will all be grateful if you do this one last favor. We now have one of this, the Neath Bow. A book for children. One page is devoted to each of the colors of the Neath, which are not found on the surface. Um, so we have a new book. With all of these pages in it. Apocyan, Cosmogon, Gant, Irigo, Pelagin, Violent, Viric. Wow. These are names. These are so names. Um, okay. Let's... 
continue on our way. See if you can't find where we left that pile of stuff. Probably won't at this point. But at least the fog's dissipated. So there's that. Oh god. I always get so nervous when I'm like, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Like sometimes I swear I'm looking at the water and I feel like there is something um, like moving under there, even though I know that's not right. That, oh god, no! Leave me alone. Leave me alone, swarm of bats. I did nothing to you. I'm literally just trying to exist. Leave me alone. I'm not even doing anything to you. What the hell? I'm literally just existing. Why are you like this? Okay. Um, let's see. These pinnacles don't see how far from their hidden harbors, but there's something at the back of the hold. Found parabola linen. Parabola's the serpent place beyond behind mirrors, or someone made that up. But in that case, where do they weave this sleek and ambery glimmering cloth? Leave me alone, bats. I'm literally not trying to mess with you. Leave me alone. I'm literally just trying to get back to London at this point. Because my hull is awful. And dear lord, my hull is terrible. Those freaking bats just like launched themselves at it for no damn reason. Bats, man. Where is everyone? Where did they go? They're here. They're here. You're not alone. <laughs> Stock. Oh god. Um, let's see. Some things are too illegal for the customs service to admit the existence of. The ministry are here looking for those. We don't have anything, so sure, go ahead. They leave scuff marks on the newly scrubbed decks and take great pleasure in tangling the rigging. They find nothing more dangerous than a moldy ship's biscuit. <laughs> collect messages from the harbor master. Something's changed at the Neath. Someone wants to sign on. You'd have one of this another day, free evening. Oh, we have the Rose Market. Cool, cool. Um. Merch Adventure. I'm in need of a reliable agent. Failing that, an inventive one. Here are my requirements. He has very specific needs, but I'll pay much better than market rates. And he won't ask you how you came by these things. Okay, so... I can't get... Acquire either of these things yet. Um, I need more parabola linen for that, but... That's good to know. Good to know. Oh, God. This dude. This dude. There's a very fine gift here, which, um... I can't hire her on. I don't have the echoes for that. Um, hold on. What can I sell you, my dear? Oh, my God. The parabola linen will get me 60 echoes. Tempting. Very tempting. Um, oh. I don't want to deal with this guy. But I think I have to. Very fine evening to you, Captain. My, but you must call men... Tor is very fond of adventurous Z captains. He'd like to offer you what you might call a dispensation, on account of he's fond of Z captains. Behind the blind bruiser on the dock stands a dray piled high with fuel and supplies. 
do make sure you have 15 points of space in the hold or come back later. It would be embarrassing to have to leave it on the dock. Yeah, I think we're good on that regard, but hold on. What is my inventory? Yeah, we have more than that. We're good. Um, I just, I'm hesitant to trust this guy because I remember what happened the last time. Uh, who is this patron? Is there a catch? He runs a very fine and very liberal establishment just across the river, what is much patronized by sailors and by men of wit and vinegar, a public house, and there's no obligation to speak of. My patron would hope only that you might remember him kindly, and to suppose that if the opportunity should arise for you to return his kindness, then I do not imagine he would refuse your offer. Oh, man. So I remember the last time... We dealt with this dude. Um, I got completely lost trying to find the place that he asked me to bring things to. And then I turned in here and then basically got myself mugged. And it was not great. <sighs> that said... The fact that he has supplies and, like, the reason why I'm pretty sure this guy shows up when he does is specifically because this early you need the stuff. So, like, we don't really have a choice at this point. Um, well, my patron hopes you find these little gifts to your liking, and he expects that perhaps someday might choose to call on him at the Medusa's head. Should that day come, we will make you very welcome and give you any safe conduct what you might require. Good evening to you. He salutes and is gone. So now we have supplies. And more fuel. And now we are suspect. Cool. Ah. <sighs> We also need a surgeon, but we definitely do not have money for that. Um, so can we upgrade? I do not have money. Like, this is part of the problem, too. Like, well, let's go into London. Let's go to the Admiralty, turn in these pages. We absolutely need to see about repairing the hull. Um, but I need to turn these in first because, um, this gives me money and fuel. Um, let's see. Retrieve strategic information from the Iron and Misery Company fun funging station somewhere not far from home waters. Okay. Iron and Misery. I remember being there. I distinctly remember being there, but I don't remember. Okay. Uh, leave the Admiral Day. Uh, let's see. Shipyard. No, we absolutely cannot upgrade this ship. Um, London. Your ship in the dark yard. Oh, okay. The only problem is that um, our only option right now due to our funds is by dealing with the Raditz Faber engineers and they may cause more harm than good. Uh, I mean, I could... I could... I could just straight up sell the um, bale of parabola linen I got for like 60. But, like, okay. I don't really think I have a choice at this point. 
Because unless I want the rats to completely destroy my ship. I do not want the rats to completely destroy my ship. Thank you. Um, okay, let's get my ship repaired. Well, us will do you a fair job for decent price, but they have a reputation for cutting corners. Woo, okay. Ship fixed up. We're good. That took all the money I had, but worth it. Um, let's see. There was... Let's see. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, Crows and wolf stack docks. I hesitate to do that. Um, offer passage to a tomb call. Re new recruit. Hmm. Ryu. Mm, I do need more sailors and more officers, but I can't do that right now. Again, money. Um, let's go to the Rose Market. What have we got? Eh, no. It's not. Um, let us... What are we gonna do? Offer passage to a tomb colonist. We can take him up to Vendor Bite. That's fine. We can do that. Okay. We got fuel. We got food. It's a vendor bite. Where we have already been. It's fine. Sunday lurky lurk. <laughs> Sound, thank you for the bits. Much appreciated. And lurking is perfectly fine here. We are perfectly fine with lurking. Lurking is absolutely a time-honored tradition here. Start turning our tiny... Passenger to run defender bites. Actually, hold on. Where is... I feel like, okay, yeah, I did go there. I did go there. Okay, hold on. It's not at all the direction we were absolutely gonna go, but. Oh god, I wanna say this one is. Five? Possibly? Um, my first captain lasted maybe like five minutes, if that. I don't know what this ship is. It's just sort of here. Uh, we have not ventured too far either. Like, as you can see from our map, like this, the funging station is about as far as we've ever gotten. We tried going very far north at one point, and that proved to be a mistake. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was not great. But yeah, this captain has lasted somewhat decently. Like, our captains last progressively longer as we go. Which is nice. Am I going in the right direction? Yes. Okay. Oh, God. What? What is... Oh, my God. Why? I'm literally just trying to live my life. How dare you? Problem is, these guys are probably gonna be... Oh my god, leave me alone. I'm literally just trying to pull in over here. 
How dare you? I'm just trying to explore. Okay. Here we go. I&M has a funger operation here. Felling giant bolagus shrooms for building materials, harvesting curely for its med medicinal properties. It's a desperate little outpost of something like civilization. Up puffs the affable factor. Oh, hello there, Captain. Thank God for visitors. We go quite mad out here otherwise. <laughs> quite mad. How can we be of assistance? <sighs> Uh, the Admiralty asked you to bring back strategic information. This is your contact. Yes, yes, I have it here. The courier ship to Mount Palmerston stopped off to resupply. Tell the Admiralty. Tell them I miss my children. Tell them I can't take it here much longer. The spores, the dark. You now have one strategic information, and we've completed our commission. Excellent. Um, let's explore. Oh, maybe let's not explore. Huh. I made the mistake of exploring. The, this is bad. Um, the heart of a salty little bog, you come upon a pulsing mound of Blemingans. They're rich purple like viscera, perhaps, or blackberries. They chitter as they swarm. They sound like pebbles on the beach. Be careful, a single Blemingan is a nuisance, a hundred or a calamity. Um, let's just observe. There's some sort of purple mushrooms. Unlike most purple mushrooms, they have tentacles and fangs, and they run around a lot. Uh, that's about as much as you get. Perhaps your mind's not on it. That's fine. Um. Pile report reports. Mm, let's try to gather supplies. Some of the island's fungus is good to eat. Some of it is poisonous, hallucinogenic, or mischievous. Good luck! <laughs> but we gained more supplies, so yay. Hi, Antu, how are you doing? I didn't know Dunmer lived down here. I mean, Fallen London is basically the Underdark, so I'm not surprised at, like, using mushrooms for building material. Um... Hmm. That's not. Okay. Gonna wait for that guy to veer off somewhere else. Because F him. That is stuff we do not need to deal with. Thank you. Oh, God. Dude, leave me alone. I literally just want to bring this back fall in London in one piece. Oh my god. You again, leave me alone. This freaking pirate ship desperately wants to try to kill me. And I don't understand why. I'm just trying to live my life. I'm just running. Thank you. Dude just veered off because we're back in home water. Yeah. <laughs> oh great. Something awaits you in port. That's not ominous at all. I'm assuming this is going to be the please go north for me and deliver supplies thing. Which are not actually supplies. I'm assuming that's what this is though. Because that's what got me the last time. Also, I apologize if anybody's saying something. Um, my phone just decided to... Turn itself off. We're, we're good, though. We're back. So, but we're all clear. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's get back into port. I love all the bats, by the way. 
Oh god. Far off, very far off, someone screams. That's not ominous at all. Okay, let's collect messages from the harbor master. Something has changed in the Neath. Uh oh. Someone wants to sign on. The blind bruiser attends the business at the dock. Oh god. Good evening, Captain, and what a marvelous evening it is, if you don't mind my saying so, and given it is my impression you're an obliging sort, I imagine you won't mind at all. And since you're so very obliging, perhaps you wouldn't mind making a little detour via Mount Palmerston with a few articles of cargo. If you happen to be in the area, the cheery man will, of course, cover your expenses for this trifling inconvenience. Um... The last time we did this, um, for the record, Mount Palmerston is up north. Um, I've not found it as of yet. I just know it's somewhere up north. I'm, if my guess is right, it's past Vendor Bite somewhere, but... This is the run that will probably kill me. It's fine. Uh, okay. I'm apparently smuggling souls. It's cool. It's cool. Um, let's get a Dauntless Hand tattoo, because this will increase my iron a bit. Excellent. Um, let's go to the Admiralty. Give them my port report, because that gives me some money. What's that? Indeed, indeed. I'll send you up directly to speak to the Admiral himself. You're ushered into his office of Mansion's Pyre, a cramped room with a vast desk. He surveys you across that desk. Ah, yes, the merchant captain, of whom he hears such complicated things. I'm going to pass on strategic info... The Admiral sits up, although he steeples his fingers and pretends calm. He's hard to read with those glasses, but he reads the summary intently. Satisfactory, he says at last. Eminently satisfactory, actually. Good work. Take this for your trouble. The clerk will see you paid. So we lost the strategic info, but we gained 150 echo. Okay. Oh, and we have an Admiralty favor now. Excellent, excellent. Um... So what else have we got? Um, submit your port reports. Do, 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 do. Uh, and let's ask if there's anything in particular they need. Um, oh, we can turn in these favors for fuel, which is nice. Um, let's see. Ask what he needs. Is it a port? We'll be interested in the port report. Visit places of particular interest and we'll be interested in the strategic information you gain thereby. We will pay you well, don't worry. We understand you can't be expected to act entirely for the love of the Empire. <laughs> What's left of it? Um, let's see. This port. Speak to our agent there in return. We'll see that you're rewarded. So this is information from Khan's heart. He wants. We can do that, yeah. Not a problem. Um, let's get... Mm. Let's call in a favor to fix up my hole a bit. Oh my god, we can actually hire a surgeon now. Um, but let's see. Who else do, what else do we do? We can hire on crew. Cool. Good. We have, an, we have ten crew. That's awesome. Um, let's see. Who is our new 
What new recruits do we have? Um, engage an officer, the brisk campaigner. Hoy, you, you need a real physician. None of your surgeons. The brisk campaigner is a skilled campaigner. Skilled doctor who increases hearts and iron. Mm. Well, the doctor would help. Now, the option of that person or this specialist is more of an amputee than anything. Like, they're definitely more of an amputee. Like, they do amputations, but... You're also cheaper. So, yeah, that's fine. We're going to go to our officers. Put you in our surgeon tab. Now our iron is up and our hearts are up. Excellent. Not sure what exactly that means, but it's fine. Um, let's also, over here, buy some more supplies since that is the thing that gets me every single time. Okay. Somewhere along the northern edge of the map. Northern side of the map is, like, kind of terrifying, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure this saved. But we have to go to the northern end of the map anyway, because we do have a tomb colonist we need to drop off. So, northern side of the map it is. This is going to be very treacherous. Because the furthest I've been has been, like, up here, where I accidentally bumped into the Chapel of Lights, and, um, it didn't go so well for me. Let's just say there was a roving island, and, um... Yeah, there, there was a roving island, and the island killed me. That sounds absolutely mad, and I know it does. But it is what happened. One of these days, we will venture outside of, like, home water turf, but... One day. It's always a little scary going to farther north, though. Just because I know it can be a bit terrifying up here. Goodness is if we're struggling to see our foe, enemies will struggle to see us too. I just, I'm very nervous to come up here because I don't know what's up here. There's a ship. Probably today, as you look for that mountain you've been asked to deliver to. Yeah. Will I find it? I don't know. Oh no. No! Yes, distract yourselves with each other. Leave me alone. Oh, 
Oh god, why? Why? I'm literally not doing anything. I'm just existing. Leave me alone. <sighs> okay. The tomb colonist passenger yanks off her bandages. She looks remarkably healthy for a tomb colonist. I'm not as dead as I look, she confesses. And I won't go get ashore without your help. Yes, the constables are looking for me back home. Is that a problem? Um. No. You slip your furtive passenger past the skin check post in the confirmation of consolation. Thanks, Captain, she remarks casually. Let me teach you a couple of tricks, just in case you do this again. And here's a little hush money. He brought a criminal to vendor bite and assisted her. So we gained one veil. 200 echo! I mean, we've raised our suspicion, but that is 200 freaking echo, you guys. That is 200. Ah. I'm not complaining. Someone's trying to get your attention. One of the tomb colonists takes an obvious interest in your crew, specifically the clattery air. Uh-oh. The tomb colonist draws you a little ways from the clattery air. Don't tell her you met me, he says, in a hoarse rasp. Her mother cut my voice. Hope to fix it so I wouldn't be able to look for my daughter. So I wouldn't want to. He wheezes. Didn't work. Operation's never completely effective. Need to know my daughter's well. Happy. Finding enough patience. Getting enough to eat and so forth. In exchange for the simplest news, he explains himself. I'm her father, he says. Ordinary engineer. Not the sort of parent she would want. If you wish to tell the heir about this encounter, you can do so by speaking with her. That's unexpected, but sure. Um, let's gather some gossip. Get some. Get another port report. So I can turn that in. Uh, let's explore a bit. At the twisty tip of an odd little side street, a welcoming yellow light glows from the gilt-lettered windows of a restaurant. A sign reads, Vengeance of Jonah. A beefy tomb colonist bustles up. A gray mustache pokes impertinently out from under his bandages. Come in, come in. So at some point, we can actually hire this guy on to be a, cro be a cook, but that's actually pretty cool. I do not have the money to hire him on as a cook, but I am amazed that we found that. If you don't want to be attacked by pirates, don't have booty. I mean, you're not wrong, Antu, but still. Oh my god, will you go away, sir? I don't want to fight you. I don't know what I did to even attract your attention, but still, go away. Um, let's see. I'm gonna buy a couple more things of fuel here. A couple more supplies, because we have the money for it. I can sell recent news for Echoes. Um, that's fine. Go up this way. All I know is that this place I need to take the souls to is somewhere up north. That is literally all I know. Crab raves disappears into that plutonian night. Uh-oh. Why? Leave me alone. I hate that they can chase me and, like, do shit, but... Like, unless I'm facing a certain way, I can't attack them. It's actually very obnoxious. Maybe, but... Hold on. Let's try turning that off. Oh my god, they don't like the light. See, this is what I mean about the mountain thing. Like, that is a freaking mountain. And it is moving. 
It is a lifeberg. Oh my god. I don't know what this is, but it's a port. So we're gonna head over this way. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's snow. <sighs> Codex, a desperate cave full of mute exiles and an inexplicable colony of shivering bad-tempered monkeys. Compile a port report. This is... No one will speak. This is a challenge. <laughs> the exiles see many come, few relieve. Some are even willing to communicate, but their gestures are unfamiliar, the meaning is unclear. Even when you can understand, these are answers without questions. As useless as a key without a lock. But we have a port report, so... Yay. Um... I can buy more fuel and supplies here if we really want to. There's no shipyard. <sighs> Let's speak to her. The cooked flesh arrives still in its shell. From the claw's eight legs, body, and head, she renders a dozen neat, bite-sized piles of shredded flesh, sutured with mushroom or pinned together with a needle of chiton. Perhaps she's missing a calling as a chef? She denies it. My mother was the child of a surgeon in the first city. You might say that knife work runs in the family. Then there are rumors about my father. She would deny there's any truth in those. You're learning about the clattery air quality is now alerted to rumors about the clattery air's parentage. Proposition, despite her ironical eye. Uh-oh. She addresses you. Oh, God. What is this? I did not intend to do this. Um... I've apparently begun an affair with her. This is interesting. I'm not reading this out because I was not figuring where this is going to go. Um, <laughs> wow, so that happened. That happened. Um, <sighs> okay, so this is Codex. It's an arch. Um, Mount Palmerston might be over here, but that seems to... I'm not sure what the chances of that actually are, but that is... Yeah, it's my best guess. Um, we're going to very quickly... I'm gonna buy some more supplies here. Another thing of fuel. Okay. My guess is that it's somewhere over this way, but I don't know for sure. Because again, all I know is somewhere to the north. Am I even moving? Yes, okay, I'm moving. This is snow. We have never been this far north before, where there's been snow. This must be Void's approach. The air crackles with frosty radiance. <laughs> there are no eye oh god, this is snow. It's absolutely snow. This is going to be hell on our engines. I'm calling it right now. Our engines are not equipped for this. But again, all I know is somewhere to the north. I know that's the Chapel of Lights. Make it to this port. 
Well, I don't know, because I've never actually been to the chapel. The one time I tried, I got attacked by a freaking, um, living mountain. Avid Horizon is some distance to the east. Oh! This is the chapel down here. Like I said, I've never been this far. Things get dangerous. And yeah, it's really dark up here. Turn the light off in case that keeps things from attacking us. I don't know. Don't worry about that. I wish there's a way to just be like, hey, we're trying to get to a certain place. Will you tell us where that is? Found the avid horizon. Yay. This is not where I'm trying to go. You know, there's a port up here. Let's pull in. This is actually a good opportunity to pause for a bit because we are at about the halfway point at this point. Doc. <sighs> this is not where I intended to be. Um, I did not realize things could be this far north, so it's entirely possible the place I need to get to is um, in the shaded areas to the west of the Avid Horizon. I did not go that far north over there. Um, it's also entirely possible that the place I need to go is further to the east. I, again, I don't know. Um, we will need to explore a bit and find out. That said, though, we are at about the halfway point, so I think this is where we're going to take a very brief break. Because as I'm fond of telling you guys, it's not good to sit in one place for too long. So, um, we are going to... Take a brief break, like five minutes or so. Uh, let us get up, let us move about, and we will reconvene in like five minutes or so. And hopefully we can figure out where the heck we need to go. Um, most likely not. The northernmost point of the map is taken up by tiny nothing islands. Ah, well, that'll be interesting. In that case, though, I'm a little surprised that um, the Avid Horizon exists in here at all. Um, but we're gonna have to explore a bit, because somewhere in here, somewhere in here is freaking Mount Palmerston, and we are going to find it, damn it. So, hopefully, we will be able to find it. Um, but yes, let us get up and move about for a few minutes, and we will reconvene and resume our search. Because, god damn it, I am giving these souls away before I get back to London, if it is the last thing I do. It very well may be the very last thing this captain actually does. I don't know. We will have to see. But that is for when we get back. So, my friends, once again, please get up, move about. We'll be back shortly.
are back. Just in time for a track that is apparently called Hull is Other People. Which I find kind of hilarious. Um, <laughs> he says the Church of Light and Avid Horizon seem to always appear in the same tile. Interesting. I did not know that. That is interesting. So like, hold on. Because I definitely have um, somebody else's... Wow, yeah, okay. I have somebody else's map of um, the Undersea up on another screen. And yeah, Avid Horizon and the Chapel of Lights are literally on the same square. That's interesting. I did not think that would actually be a thing, but apparently it is. Huh. It's actually really impressive. All right, let us resume our journey. Actually, hold on. Let us... Ah! Interesting. Okay, let's... Hmm. Explore along the shoreline. A ragged tent flaps in the freezing wind. Ice encrusted bones lie tumbled at the flap. Someone came here to be forgotten. Now, one outlandish artifact. We've gained terror and supplies, and we now have an eyeless skull. Okay. That's that's not creepy at all. Um <laughs> We can... Let's gather some intelligence while we're here. Um, the stillness is itself of interest to the Admiralty. It's not impossible someone foolish might attempt to open the gate. It's not inconceivable that it might open from the other side. And what then? Your journey here may attack, attract the attention of a certain crimson patron. Return your port report to the Admiralty in London to unlock a new story. Oh god, I made a mistake. I've made a mistake. There's an option of looking into the stars. These are real stars. They burn above the roof of the neath beyond the earth in the spaces of heaven. Even so far even so far away, even now, their eyes are on you. But here in the night under the world, you are safe. Safe. You return to your senses, gasping. Your hands are cold, numb. How long were you watching the stars? So now we have so much terror. We are now nervous. <laughs> um, let's see. You heard a story. The ice by the gate's edge. There was a whisper about a hunting quest and a final revenge. Yes. Yes, this is what the rumors meant. A hunter frozen in the ice. Hands contorted into claws. Mouth agape. With her left hand, she had plucked her own eye from the socket. It lies very close to the surface of the ice. If the stories are true, there's a dark virtue in that eye. Take it, then. But perhaps you should put it in a jar. <laughs> Jeez. That's not terrifying at all. Okay. I think... Oh, there are no shops here now. At all. Okay. I have no idea if this is going to be enough fuel and supplies to get us anywhere. Huh. I'm sure we're I'm sure we'll be fine on the supplies. I'm just worried about fuel and hull integrity. But here's I can tell if I want to find Mount Palmerston, I have to keep going this way. So uh oh. The crawling stars. The lookout shouts far above. The false stars in the cavern roof are shifting. A rare and ominous event. What now? Um, record the change and assign a name. If the new shape seems well omened, your crew may be cheered. Who knows? Eyes on the deck. Forbid them to look. You can't really stop them, but you can at least discourage discussion. They won't like it, but it's safer. Um. Hmm. What do you guys think? Should we try to try our luck or keep our eyes on the deck? I 
I'm honestly not sure. Eh, that's true. I mean, it can't hurt. Let's try it. Bats is luck, a gap tooth stoker of hers. I'll agree. Leathery, but lucky. Oh, we've lost some terror. We're down to wary again. Excellent. <laughs> Slowly but surely, onward we go. Hopefully, you do not run into anything slightly terrifying. I'm going to keep sending the bat out until... Oh! We have Teneb to the east. That's unexpected. That is unexpected. Okay. I was hoping it might be something else. I was hoping if we just kept going east, we'd find it, but um, we seem to have uncovered a different island than I was expecting. I think this is Teneb, and I know nothing about it. I'm just trying to find Mount Palmerston. That's literally all I want at this point. Oh, God. We keep going this much further east. We're going to wind up in Salt's Realm, and that is... That is uncomfortable for me. That is just uncomfortable. Oh, look. Fog clouds. Cool. So I'm pretty sure we missed the port for Teneb, but... This is fine. We might wind up eating the crew, it's fine. We've entered a fog bank. Our gunners struggle to see the foe. Oh no. No! No, leave me alone. Please don't attack me. Yes, I know Tenab is there. That's not what I'm hoping to find. Oh no. Oh no. Nope, 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 nope. Leave me alone. I did not want to do that, but that was... Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, the music got ominous. The music got very ominous. <gasps> Palmerston! Palmerston! <sighs> we found it! We found it, boys! Not sure where the port is, but we found it. Oh, but this music is so ominous, I don't like it. Cruise terror is reaching dangerous levels. You can lower it in certain ports and slow its rise by staying close to land and keeping your prow light on. Oh, cool. Cool, this is fine. This is fine. Oh no. No, leave me alone. Do not see me. Do not see me. Oh. I don't 
don't like this music. It's making me very apprehensive. Ah. <sighs> But we found the port. Yay. Oh yeah, our terror is getting very uncomfortably high at this point. I'd love to keep our light on, but I can't in these conditions. Uh, stock. Okay. Well, Palmerston. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. A hooded figure with a lantern waits at the far end of the qu the key. You give the hooded shape a sign of recognition. It hisses the reply you expected. You hand over the crate and receive a chitty marked with a thief sign. You'll receive the promised remuneration in London. Excellent. Okay, so we don't have the souls anymore. We're good. We're good. Um, let's talk with the port folk. They don't do us any harm. They say a, there was a revolution in hell and the aristocracy of the devils fled here. Here they plot in exile. Yeah, they don't do us any harm. They stay up there and we stay down here. If hell's fighting itself, it's good for us all, ain't it? You now have one of this. One, a port report, Mount Palmerston. Let's explore the island a bit. Um, oh, look, the Blemingans. Um, let's see. We're, we're gonna observe. We failed the challenge, but it's fine. Um. Dig among the ruins. Perhaps the villagers left valuables behind. You could pick over their remains to see what you might find. You ghoul. A matter of luck, it could go either way. Um, let's see. In a dry well choked with ash behind a shattered farmhouse, you find two casks of zoop. Emergency supplies or hidden treasure? No one will ever return for them. We lost two supplies in the process, but we have two zoop. Memory of distant shores, and now we have more terror. Cool. Um, let's see. I'm gonna buy some more supplies, because, um, those are nice. Buy some fuel, too, so we're at... Ten. Okay. Now I think. Oh wow, we. This is far away. This is further than I meant. Thought we were going. Okay, it's fine. <sighs> okay. Um. I think at this point we're going to start heading back towards London because I have concerns. Now, the reason why I'm going a bit further north than I probably should be is because there's land up this way, and I feel like staying closer to land when I don't really know where... I have a vague idea of where I am, but I'm hoping being close-ish to land will deter things that should leave me alone. Hopefully. Uh-oh. Something awaits you in port. That That's always ominous. That is the always ominous thing. I don't think I like that that much when that happens. Um, I hesitate to keep the light off, but I'm also nervous about things coming and finding me up here. So I feel like the terror is applicable. And I don't know what happens when this meter gets too high. 
Like, that is a legitimate concern of mine. I'm also incredibly nervous about that Lifeberg returning and trying to, like, zerg me. Um... Which, hopefully, won't be too bad, but heh, I don't know. Oh, God. Okay, we're here. Oh, wow, we have a long way to go. Maybe make a stopover and frostbound. Yeah. I'm just not sure where. I know Teneb is on the way, but I'm not sure where the port is. And Teneb is a huge freaking island, so... That's true. We're just gonna mark this on the map. Here's Teneb. Oh god, yeah, we need more supplies. Sycamore Arch. That's a thing. It's shiny. Oh, jeez. Our terror is very high. The air trembles. A breath of change passes. That's unnerving. In retrospect, this is probably not the best way to go. Like, I probably should have gone north, but... Uh-oh. A thing popped up over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um... Ooh, the Neath, the cavern that holds the Entersy, is prowled by dreams. There's a story that it was once the skull of a dead god. Perhaps that would explain it. Oh, God. I don't want to deal with that. So we're not going to. We're, we're not going to deal with that. We're going to ignore it. It's fine. Oh, we found another place called Bright, apparently. Apparently it's connected to Tenib? Huh. Interesting. A sailor is praying. Jeez. Please let there be a port somewhere around here. Port! Ha! I found a port thing. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Yay! There's a port, you guys. There's a port. We're not going to starve to death down here. Possibly. I don't know if this actually has a shop down here. Hopefully. Otherwise, we may be in eat the crew territory. <sighs> Which, nobody wants that. Nobody wants to eat the crew. Yes, that is a thing that can actually happen. I'm just saying. Let's pull it over here. Woo! 
Oh god, we don't have a whole lot of money. Um, let's see. Uh, take some tea with the squatters on the deck. Uh, we're keeping the steps for the game of truths, a helpful riddle fisher explains. As she fills your cup for the third time. Every year, the people of Arem and Wither meet here for, she pauses, contests, she finished vaguely. The difference between a question and a riddle. One day, someone will prove themselves enough to enter the castle. You spent a few pleasant hours while the tea is supplemented with Remy liquors, pale wither and beer, and something the riddle fisher describes blandly as snake cake. They offer you fuel and supplies before you leave. We keep enough to spare, the riddle fisher grins. From time to time, a captain gets lost and comes up here. We always feel bad for them. <laughs> Gained supplies and fuel. Excellent, excellent. Lost one terror. Nervous. No shops here. Which is a bit annoying, but what are you going to do? Um, create a port report. Not all of the Eremi... Not all are Eremi or Withern. Or Withern, I think? There's an odd researcher, the occasional deranged ice sculptor. Now and then, a very cold, sad, rubbery man. But for the most part, an atmosphere of friendly rivalry resigns. Reigns. Thank you for the reminder, Gailey. Hydration is key. Also, I'm very glad that they had some supplies for me, because I did not realize I was low on Echo. Um, <laughs> okay, so we're here. We still have a long way to go to get back to home waters. I'm, I'm concerned. I am concerned, but... Um, we can do this. It's fine. These tiles are very big. And, like, I'm not never expecting them to be as big as they actually are. So we're still keeping the light off, because... Yeah. Yeah, probably. Probably. Oh, oh, look, there, there's a whirlpool. We're gonna avoid that, please. Thank you. You're not sucking me up in that. You know, you want to. Yeah, that, that's, that sure is a maelstrom up there. We're gonna ignore it. We found another port down here, but I worry about turning around, so we're just going to keep going and praying we'll be fine. I didn't know maelstroms were a thing down here. Apparently they are. the right way yes oh our terror is still kind of high up there so that's fun oh no 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 leave me alone do not see me Okay, so keeping the light off means other ships won't really notice you. That's cool. We're also powering it a bit. Normally I wouldn't, but... These are the salt lions. There's a frigate down there. They haven't really noticed us, though, so... There is, however, a port here, so I'm hoping... Fuck, 
Okay. Let's... Hmm. Pile of port report. Visit the Unmakers. Muscular pick wielders rest on camp stools watching you approach, passing hip flasks around. An unctuous overseer beckons you to sit. We get funding from the bazaar, it's true, but Station 4... I want to call it Station 4. It's a little grandiose. The stones are stuffed with secrets, but most of them are used as garden statuary or occult ballast. Most of them. Some go down the pa to the places under the bazaar. More tea cakes? So we've lost some terror and gained some more fragments. Excellent. Okay. Oh god, I forgot to check. There are no shut. No shops here. Uh. Well, this is a problem. Hopefully we'll be fine. Oh god, what the frig is that? We're gonna turn this light off. Oh my god. I don't know what that is, but I want no part of it. Normally, I would not do, like, double speed, but as we can see, we're, we're low on funds and we're low on supplies, so, and fuel. So basically, the only recompense for me is to actually make it back to port as quickly as humanly possible. Okay, I know we're in the right general area because that's Hunter's Keep. I know they don't have a whole lot there. Especially since we're this close to Fallen in London. Oh my god. That was the farthest freaking journey we have made so far and that was terrifying. <laughs> we survived though like that is impressive for us I wasn't sure we would actually survive out there but we did it and we don't have the creative souls on us anymore so when we pull into this port we're not gonna get accosted by anything well we are still like we're gonna get searched but <sighs> terror is always reduced to 50 when you return to London if it's higher. However, if your terror was high, you may suffer nightmares later. Cool. Let's collect messages. Let's see. Something has changed in the Neath. Someone wants to sign on. The blind bruiser attends to business on the dock. Okay. Let's deal with you. What a propitious and encouraging occasion this is to meet again, meet again here in this place, which has been so very fortunate to us both. Allow me to shake you warmly by the hand, since you have demonstrated your unswerving commitment to fair dealing and honest conveyage. Very good. My patron will toast you. Here's your compensation and a little fuel and a few barrels of biscuits, what a certain other captain has widely surrendered for the common good. I will take... The good word to my patron, and if I am a man of my word, we will see each other again. Unless a whale eats you, of course, in which case I hope you will not think poorly of me for wishing that we will not. 200 Echo. Yes. Thank you. And five fuel and two supplies for our trouble. <sighs> uh... 
Oh no. Once more we find ourselves here on the qu case qui side of what I suppose you might say is the lip of the well of opportunities. Let us both drink deeply from this well, by which I mean my patron has a task for you. Take a payment across the ocean, bring back a little package. Oh god. This dude. This dude is like constantly asking me for things. Mm, I mean, so far it's worked out decently. Here's the money. Don't lose it. Now bring the package back here. It is my hearty recommendation. You avoid the ungentle attentions of the excise. On account of if you return without the package, it is of no interest to my patron whether you have lost it or had it taken from you. Good luck, good luck. If you return to London without an unstamped crate of brilliant souls before completing this task, there's a risk that the blind bruiser will take offense. And ask to collect a passage from Glacier's Morn in the Corsair's Forest. Gator's Morn. Sorry, Gator's Morn. How far away is that? Okay, well, that might not be so bad. Actually, have I found that yet? That is not a thing I have found as of yet. I don't think. Nope, that's not a place I have found yet. But it's probably down here somewhere. I it occurs to me I'm moving my mouse around, but I don't know if you guys can actually see where I'm gesturing to. Um, near as I can tell, based off of other maps, it shares tile space with like where the funking station is. So it should be further out this way, possibly. Um, in a similar direction to where Port Palmerston was. <laughs> yes, we can see the mouse. Okay, cool. I'm never sure what it actually captures and what it doesn't. Um, but yeah, it should be somewhere in that direction. So that's something. I mean, poor Palmerston didn't turn out too terribly, so how bad could it be? Famous last words. Uh, let's go give them my things so we get some more echo from that. Um, Frost found, is it as beautiful as they say? I doubt it. Poets are notorious liars, but liars make bad poets. A paradox, isn't it? Never mind your report. Oh, cool. 30 Echo. That's nice. Um, exiled for giving answers. That's with the for you. Anything new? More Echo. More fuel. More favors. Excellent. Excellent. And let's give them from the Salt Lions. More Echo. Always a good thing. Um, let's talk to the Admiral. Let's see. What was the thing you wanted me to do for you, sir? Information. Uh, da, 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 da. Just make sure you don't go under a thousand echoes for obvious reasons. Yes. Um, huh. Get some more supplies, because we need that. Um, like, I could theoretically also upgrade the ship, but that is... It's like, it's a lot of money. And gods only know... That's a, a visit from Mr. Sax. What is this? Midnight, a presence dominates your lodgings. Its fur-trimmed robe is the red of blood on snow. Over your chair hangs a familiar brown sack, bulging with offerings. Londoners have gen give generously to the crimson beast of winter. Anything to be rid of it. 
A figure stares into the fireplace, smelling of soft musk and harsh ammonia. I require a sturdy vessel and a captain. Yours comes recommended. You will suffice. Um... Yeah, we're gonna hold off on that. <laughs> We are going to... Hmm. You could, but then you wouldn't have enough to get the things needed by the bruiser. Yeah, see, that that is a problem. That is a problem, and we can't have that. Um, we're going to get some more supplies, because this is going to be a long trip. Um, do there have anything I can... Oh, I can sell the zoop. So let's sell that. Um, making sure I don't have anything else to sell this guy. Um, Like, part of me does think we be pretty much, we do need a better gun, but, like, at the same time, I worry about this. So I think that's what I have currently. Yeah, that's what I have right now. <sighs> Two. Mm. What to do? What to do? Oh God! No, we're not gonna buy a specimen from the labyrinth. I don't know what this means. <laughs> Um, do, 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 do. what do you want, sir? Yeah. Um, let's patch up my ship. Thank you. Because it was beat up a bit, and that's not great. Morph, let's go down to the Rose Market, because why not? Ah. <sighs> Nothing interesting at the Rose Market. It's fine. Um, hmm. Oh, we can visit the university because of that thing we found. Um, the university has an inexhaustible appetite for secrets, Z specimens, and other tidbits of esoteric lore. Provide a secret to prove yourself worthy of entry. Which we have. Um, we can also carouse in the docks, hire more crew. Exile is a first officer who increases mirrors and pages. We can also engage Maybe's daughter, who's an engineer, which we also need. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we do have enough Echo to hire them on and it'd be fine. Um... and pages your veils iron and engine power oh that'd be useful on further journeys though uh, at the end of the rotting duck a woman perches on a suitcase both she and the suitcase are noticeably cleaner than everything else in view hello where are you headed on second thoughts i don't mind can i come aboard yes i'm an engineer but i'm an engineer in a hurry if anyone comes looking for me, well, I'm not accepting callers. Can I trust you to pass that on? You don't want them distracting me from my duties. 
So now we have a new officer by the name of Maybe's Daughter. That is not actually her name, I'm sure, but... It's fine. Um... <laughs> See, so we have 14 fuel, 10 supplies. Ooh, I feel like maybe we need. A couple more of those, and I still want to go over to. What's that? Um, the university to deal with this thing. The university has an inexhaustible appetite for secrets, Z specimens, and other tidbits of esoteric lore. Provide a secret to prove yourself worthy of entry. Oh yes, the university's maritime liaison whispers breathily. Oh yes, this is quite a tasty one. Let me explain it to you. She... He? Explains, teeth glinting. An alarming, the alarming scholar is mercurial, to say the least. A creature of sudden moods and provoking teeth... Possibly her... Is it her? Appointment as university maritime liaison was precautionary. To keep his... Is it his? Razor sharp enthusiasm from causing too many inquiries in the faculty. Ah, yes, the scholar whispers breathily. I have a budget for acquisitions. What have you brought me? This trend is unintentional, A. Eh? Also, I love the fact that this character design is purposely, like, challenging what you think of anything. I love it. Um, let's see. Let's give him this. Um, as the alarming scholar listens, te tears well in the depths of those shining or is it blazing eyes. They overflow, splashing onto the desk blotter. Stop! He, she, sobs at last. This is too, too beautiful. Allow me to bring the macaw of memories. I wish each individual tone recalled. And now we have an artifact we can give them. We have something like that, she, he, declares, but not very like that. Interesting. I have some ideas about suitable fees. And we've got a hundred echo off of that, so, I mean, worth it. Worth it. Let's go. Um, you have business to attend to, and besides, the scholar keeps snapping his, her, teeth like a mechanical trap. <laughs> I like this scholar. I like them a lot. Um... <laughs> Uh, let's... I legitimately worry about supplies, so... Fuel, I think we're somewhat okay on, but... Okay. Okay, so if my guess is right, the place we need to hit up is somewhere on the same plane as Demo Island, but I might be wrong. I hope I am right, to be quite honest with you. Um, but I don't know. <sighs> What's a little cannibalism between friends? Oh my god, you're terrible, Yumi. Off we go. Also, Yumi, I don't know if you were here for this, but I seem to have... Um, accidentally begun an affair with our surgeon. <laughs> so my genderqueer ass is apparently hitting on our surgeon. <laughs> yeah, my guess is to the east too, E, but again, I don't know for sure. I mean... Can you blame me? Look at her. Look at this portrait. <laughs> I don't think I can be blamed. This is exciting. I feel like an unreliable navigator. Oh my god. E is over here leading us all to our death. <laughs> no. A rock breaks the water like a surfacing Z-Beast. No, it's a Z-Beast. No, it's a rock. <laughs> Flirt with your surgeon so they prioritize mending you. Oh my god. I do need to speak to them, though, I think. No, I don't. I have nothing I can talk to them about. Let's speak to you. Nope, not yet. Can I speak to you? No, okay. Oh, jeez. 
You begun to dream of a vast eye. It knows you. You cannot evade its gaze. Again and again, you're alone in the wide black Z. The eye is aware. Your nightmare will come upon you from time to time, inspiring terror. Gain restful nights at your lodgings to help you resist it. If you defeat it, you may gain a secret. Oh, great. <sighs> great. Great. This is fine. It's fine. Oh, God. It has begun. You are way too excited about this. But yeah, as you can see, my terror is a bit higher than I really want it to be. Um, this is what happens when you venture further north and um, things get a little chaotic. Could have been, would have been worse than you ever known. It's true. Oh, God. There, this thing has popped up over here, and I'm scared to touch it again. Um, so we're going to ignore it for right now, and just keep on keeping on. The dashboard melted, but we still had the radio. <laughs> I just, I personally worry about going too far this way. But that's just me. I'm just trying to avoid hitting the tip of Demo Island up here. At least I know we can hunt for, like, fungus here. Oh, God. A discreet opportunity has arisen to spend time with your favorite officer. This will noticeably reduce your terror unless it's already low. But if you have a sweetheart back home, you may want to think twice. <laughs> In the surgery, I don't expect any new patients this evening. Sure, why not? She's made up the operating table with a couple of towels, one spread over the surface and the other folded into a pillow. I like to give instructions, she says, settling herself on the surface. It's not a reflection on your skills. The bowl over there is for you to soak your hands. The water's icy, I like a cold touch, but don't go numb when you're ready. Woo, we've lost terror. Doing that makes me lose terror, apparently. Excellent. Oh my god, indeed, Gailey. Indeed. <laughs> oh god, there's a pirate up there. Uh, we're turning off our light. In the hopes they don't notice me. But I don't... I think that's kind of inevitable at this point. Does she have a surgical kink? Maybe? I don't know. Oh god. Yep, they see me. Power past. Oh god. That's a flare. Nope. Leave me alone. Where's a convenient fog bank when we want one? Oh no. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh god. Oh god. Apparently, I can pull up alongside this ship, which seems odd. Is that a thing I can do? That ship marks a safe point, apparently. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so this is absolutely not where we needed to go. Um. Yeah, I'm not much for attacking pirate ships, apparently. Um. Especially that one, because that one would easily murder me.
<sighs> Just trying to find a freaking ship. Not ship. Um. <sighs> now the light's fine. So there doesn't seem to be anything around here. There's a port I'm trying to find, and it is stubbornly not where I want it to be. I was hoping, I was hoping Gators Morn would be nearby, but it doesn't seem to be. Lightnings crawl leisurely up the funnel. Saint Erasmus is dancing. The cry goes up. Scuttering and chittering in the corners of the hold. Humped shapes on the deck rail. Ratsy air in boulders vermin. Yeah, apparently. I think that's a lighthouse over there? Lighthouse. Oh my god, really? Skylar's End is that a lighthouse, apparently. Nuncio! Oh, hey, I need to go there for a thing. I can finally get rid of this whale thing that I've been trailing behind this ship the entire time. Where is the port? I don't know. Oh, the port's down here. Looks like. This is Nuncio. As happy as I am to have found it, it's not what I was looking for in the slightest. So I'm not sure how to feel about this, to be quite honest with you guys. I don't think so, E, because um, Gators more than supposed to be pretty... Like, on the same level as Nuncio and Demo Island, so... I don't think we did. Um, let's deliver this Lorne fluke. The drowny postman gestures to a modest pyramid of cargo behind him. Accept this as thanks and an apology. I told a small lie. I labeled the package myself, Captain, to avert a great disaster. Our king keeps a discreet accord with the flukes. One which I maintain. Their dead must be appropriately disposed of using the traditional manner. If this were ten years ago, perhaps the boy could have kept it. But since the Lorne flukes were taught ambition, they are best not antagonized. I will deliver this corpse to my liege. I have no doubt his chef will prepare it most respectfully. And we have Parabola Lennon. Oh my god. Yay. Um, let's assemble a port report. There's a statue in the middle of the island that's hard to miss. There's the way everyone wears a uniform and the way they call each other by their ranks in the postal service. There's the way the port authorities refer to regulations. There's the jargon, the curious habit of referring to any used up thing as cancelled, as though the whole world were made of stamps. You write about vestigial bureaucracy and about trappings of order retained far from home. Uh, let's go to the tavern, because why not? Tiles are arranged in sections. You're in the wrong sector. Ah. Um. Do, 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 do. 
Allow the clattery air to offer her sir. Okay, let's see. Lit by two roaring fires, one at either end of the room, the bartender is in a postman's uniform, like almost all the patrons. The noseless postal inspector, called Blunt Thomas, delivers the drinks, clears tables, and stacks the firewood. Um, let's see. Well, why not? A lot of the clattery air to offer her services. She could remove the call from a postal worker. They wouldn't be a worker anymore, of course. Um, let's ask about the big statue. Um, oh, that. It's all of us, isn't it? Sort of the spirit of the island. Most of them don't seem troubled for more of an explanation than that. Though the hairless postwoman tells you it didn't always look like a fallen London postman at all. That it used to have a different face and a more old-fashioned outfit. Interesting. Huh. Oh. We are indeed in the wrong sector, aren't we? Okay, then. The uncolored sectors stay the same, while the colored ones can rearrange with the same colored tiles. Ah. Okay, so... We're gonna have to head north, then. Okay, cool. Um... Let's... No, let's not. Let's see. Let's explore on the beach. Every lap of the wave drags up some new letter or parcel. The face of the water is dotted with them, as far as you can see in this blackness, carried by a powerful current. Um. Hmm. Accepting no further, says a red scrawl across the wrapping. I'm curious. Funny smell, and little wonder, a string of rats within may once have been fresh and, to certain taste, delectable. It's now rather worse for decay, giving the parcel's contents a hasty burial is the best you can hope to do. Just before you dispose of it, though, note the recipient's name and address, a name of some power worth remembering. Now let's go back to the dock. Okay. I think we're good. I'm nervous about you. We're going to stay here until you pass. are going to grab some more supplies though because I worry about that and I worry about you because I don't know who the hell you are you're probably waiting for me to leave so you can attack me I worry about that <laughs> Congrats so far staying alive. We're doing the best we can. We are doing the best we can. All things considered. Um, okay, so we need to get back into this sector. Ah. We are so far from it. God. Okay, literally all you hear out here is just, like, water. Which isn't necessarily bad. But at the same time, it's just a little, like... You kind of wish there was music. Oh, God. No, leave me alone. I'm gonna turn off that light. And go into this fog bank. Uh oh. I always get so nervous when I see that something awaits you in port icon show up. Um. I know it technically doesn't mean anything bad, but. I just get a little nervous, nonetheless. You can do it, Gaily. I believe in you. You 
You will ace that quiz. I have faith. Oh god. That is not where I want to go. We hear the voices that will not be drowned. This is the sea of voices. We are close to Polythreme where nothing is truly dead. Ugh. Well, we're not heading in that direction. So it's fine. What was that? Station 3. Some distance to the west. That's not, again, where we're going, but it's a port, so I will take it. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this music. Okay, we found station three. Which is not where we were trying to get to, but I will take it because we're in the right general area. Complain about music, complain about no music. Yeah, there is no pleasing me. Stuck here. <sighs> we may infer a station one and a station two. We may conjecture a station four. Be best to get a look from a distance. Church or something else. You stand on the high point of your ship and look to shore. There's a steepled building on the horizon, by far the largest thing in sight. No cross marks atop of it, nor any other symbol you recognize. Try the gate. The only way past the walls is an imposing but sturdy looking gate of triple barreled silvery metal. A sign beside it reads deliveries. Metal is steel hard and icy cold to the touch. Attempts with chisels and crowbars fail. Perhaps if you could bring the ship's guns to bear, but no. <laughs> no shops or anything available here. Okay. So we're in the right general area. Think. I don't know if the thing we need is like further up here, further north, or if it's further south, or what. <sighs> okay. Let's go. Let's try north first. We will find this place eventually, damn it. Hopefully, before we wind up ending for the day. We're also going to be going slow, and so we don't completely destroy our fuel supply. Oh god, when did my terror get back up to 56? Distant bells we're hearing, apparently.
Shepherd Isles. That's not where we were trying to get to, but there might be a supply place up there, so worth it to head in that direction. We've discovered Field Haven, apparently. Stock here. Of course, the bearded watchman tells you there are no actual shepherds in the Shepherd Isles. Sheep are mostly illegal here. How do you... How are sheep illegal? No, indeed. It's just the name of the gen gentleman that found the islands. Greybeard sitting in the village square nods solemnly. No sheep, one says, but plenty of tails. Ask us anything. Uh, let's picnic at the standing, standing stones. Your sailors watch the fireflies shimmer and swap shanties, pass round the grog and shy stones at the more vampirically inclined Zvax. Grasses nod in the breeze. Across the dark water, the lights of Abbey Rock glow watchfully. So I've lost some terror and some echo, which is fine. Um, sheep are an invasive species. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's compile a port report. Oh yes, oh yes, yes, my yes, there's been goings on. In the bleak light of the false stars, surface roiling like a porridge pot, up with a roar of steam and flash of fire. Three widows swim in tentacles, and then we saw his highness. This is a rather a lot of, there's rather a lot of this material. We have a port report. Oh, an officer apparently wants to sign on. I mean, we do need the navigator, so... Um, let me be your guide. I know all the Z, how it was, how it will be. Please, the headaches only stop when I'm working. Thank you. The nonsense here was a distraction for a while, but only the Z can help me now. Ah, my god, the air. The air, it's clear already. Let me chart a course for you. Woohoo! So now we have a navigator. All we need is a cook, and we will have officers at last. We'll have all of our officers at last. Okay. Um. Oh, wait. Hold on. I forgot to check if there were shops. There are. Okay. Let's get some of that. And off we go. We're in the right general area. It's just we're not... So if we go, yeah, we're in the right general area. We're just not where we need to be. So. We have a navigator, and it's wonderful. So it's not north. It means it's probably south of the demo place. Yes. So in the southerly direction is where we're going next. We will find it eventually. What's this? Found a port. It's not where we need to go. But we found a port. Abbey Rock. Huh. The Sisterhood. It says. I don't know what that is. Glassy chop of dark water. The iron clatter of feet at the hatchway. Well, let's dock and see what's here. Because the reports are valuable, too. Uh, we're not going to trade supplies because I need those. Um, compile a port report. Nothing is happening. The sisters watch us. We feel their eyes. The sea crashes on the rocks, withdraws. The fortress stands stolen as the last year of a century. 
The greatest peril you risk here is a certain purpleness of prose. <sighs> uh, let's watch the convent and see. Like a huge and deadly her herons, the sisters stalk along the very tops of the walls. You watch through a spyglass as they leap and whirl, slashing at each other with a variety of frightening weapons. God, one of them just turned to somersault. Let's see. Brief attention. The muscular prioress, the abbess's lieutenant, comes to the door to listen. She nods and makes notes. She pays particular attention to news of marsh beast predations and ra the traffic of rooftops. In return, she offers a rather perfunctory blessing, but the blessing reassures your crew. So we've lost some terror. That's good. That is good. Okay. Um, oh, that's right. Wanted to see... Nope, no shops here. Okay. So... Place we need is probably in this area somewhere, maybe? I mean, it's my best guess, so off we go. Hopefully we'll find it soon. Because I absolutely cannot go back to London without the thing that the dude wanted me to grab. doing that is bad for me also there's sparkling water down there and that's a bit concerning to me oh god that's why that was concerning that's why that was concerning was a freaking terrifying crab thing as long as it doesn't come down here we're good <sighs> ah, something else apparently awaits me in port, which that's concerning unto itself. Okay, we are going to find this damn place I need to find, so help me. Bonnie Reefs is some distance to your southwest. That's a port we haven't found yet, at least. It's not the port we need to find. Watch, watch it be, like, in here. Just, like, watch it be in there. I can confirm it. Oh dear. <sighs> oh, it won't. I can confirm it. Ah. Yay! Congratulations, Gailey! That's exciting. Back in this area, so let's try going south here. That's exciting, though. Congratulations. I have enough time to work on the homework, even if I might not finish it, which is better than nothing. It's true. It is very true. We have learned so far that shimmering shiny things 
in the water typically mean creatures. Which is something. I'll take it. Ugh. Found something over here. That's not where we need to go. Phosgene bleaks. Huh. Uh oh. Electric shiver to the air. Storm is watching, as the Zaylers would say. Ah. You're not having much luck finding this place. You're not having much luck at all. Oh, look! My terror is very high. This is concerning. Eh. I feel like at this point we're going too far. A monkey crag. Wow, that's a name. It's been a secret. It's a straight trade, one of your best discoveries for one of hers. It's not hard to drive the bargain. She sits back after dinner and tells you this. Most people think the hard part of surgery is finding what's wrong and taking it out. Any fool could do that. The ship's cook with a cleaver could have that part of the job. The hard part is cutting so you can sew it all back up again afterwards. She demonstrates on a shark fin, leaving it in better condition than it started. <laughs> That's not creepy at all, sweetie. I mean, look at this name. Lick a monkey crag, dear lord. <sighs> Uh-oh. Discovered the Dubois Maelstrom. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's a maelstrom down there. Oh, that's terrifying. Do not want to get too close to that. It's the, what is that? Labyrinth of Eels. Hickmoat Isle is some distance to the south. That's not where I'm trying to go to, but it's something. I will take it. This is not at all the direction we need to go in. I think this island's just called Crab Cake, which I find kind of hilarious. That gets turned off, so that thing does not notice me. Even though I really should leave it on more because look at my terror, it is freaking high. Yeah, and this is not where I'm supposed to be going, E. Eh?
At least I don't think it is. Stock here. There's no habitation in sight, no market, only an old rotting dock. A stretch of sand thickens the damp black earth from which sprout stunted palms? Not quite. Tall fungal growths with frond-like caps, as if someone had sculpted the idea of a tree from a mushroom. As you step onto the quay, you hear clamorous shouts and shooting. You can see off in the distance smoke rising from beyond the hill, and dots of fire flecking the horizon. Two tiny figures stand a little further down the quay, unmoving, as if awaiting your approach. Uh-oh. The following is an extract from the popular Diary of a Z Captain, from London to Irem and what we did there before we arrived. Washed ashore on Mudden Island, and subsequently serialized in the Unexpurgated Gazette, the author's identity remains unknown. In which a delegation is made, a choice is presented, war is declared, the most singular treasure was sought by all, and a new empire is founded with tooth and claw. <sighs> the delegation. The figures were rodents. To my left was a Radis Faber, wearing goggles, a blacksmith's apron, and an assortment of tools. To my right, an unusually large guinea pig, wearing a helmet and blessed breastplate reminiscent of nothing so much as the high Middle Ages. The rat stepped forward first and bowed. Welcome, Captain, to Ratsar Island. I am Edgar, second chief engineer of the third rat brigade. I invite you to avail yourself of food and fuel at our expense. The only cost to you is a choice. The rat stepped back at precisely the same moment, what appeared to be the ease of a long habit. The guinea pig scuttled forward and made a declamatory chirp. Welcome, Captain, to the Isle of Cavia. I am Lady Augusta Devereux Swinch of the Blackwater Swinches. Seneschal to her King Grace Ma. Grace and all, first of his name. I invite you to avail yourself of food and fuel at our expense. The only cost to you is a choice. The two stood at attention, looking at me expectantly. Oh, God. I don't have a choice here. <laughs> um, I spoke to the Seneschal. The Seneschal cleared her throat with a delicacy to rival the Duchess's own before speaking. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Grace Na, the king, our lord and sovereign, in full seven months, had sojourned on the sea, conquered this land, and won the southern main. Now no fortress against him shall remain. No city walls be left for him to gain, save the rats that squeak behind mountain. Unlikely was the lamb of our deliverance. Assured shall our, be our glories and their fell, when our lady's eye restored be to our hall. The seneschal composed herself and added, We saw truth and beauty by the light of our lady's eye on Mount Ca Caveat. But the rats, with their guns and their chatter and their peasants' politics, stole it from us. We will subjugate them and take it back. They are a rabble, and we will rule them with the steel-shod velvet of our paws. Will you join us? Chief Engineer. I asked the Chief Engineer to elaborate. He looked at me for a long-measured moment before speaking gruffly. We came to this island to make a home for ourselves, away from London, its cats and snuffers, its ratskin suits. We came to live as citizens of our own republic. We came with our tools, our teeth, our clever hands, and we made a beautiful city by the light of the rat star that shone bright and blue on Mount Ararat. The chief engineer nodded toward the distant hill. One day, we braved the deaths of the chicken woods, and from the top of Mount Ararat, we plucked the rat star to be our light, our beacon. But the pigs of Cavi saw it, the light, and they lusted for it. They sent armies to rule us and steal our star. We will not permit them to take what's ours. We will resist to our last breath. Will you join us in defeating them? Oh, God. Um, I'm going to attempt to broker a peace, because why not? Surely their commonalities were more numerous than their differences. Perhaps I could help them get along. My words helped them reach agreement. The chief engineer and the seneschal shared a look, then regarded me with scornful amusement. Yes, smirked the chief engineer. You're obviously much cleverer than us. Oh, much, murmured the seneschal. You clearly know us much better than we know ourselves. Apparently, idealism would not help here. Um, hmm... So who should we side with, the Chief Engineer or the Seneschal? 
Because apparently we're not getting out of this. Like, we're going to die here, I'm sure. <laughs> but... <sighs> yeah, probably. Rat-made weapons are a bit terrifying. I extended a finger to the chief engineer, who shook it grimly. The seneschal hissed and chattered her teeth in disgust, but kept her distance. You made the right choice, said the chief engineer. Let me show you around. Oh, okay, we gained fuel and supplies. Cool. Um, the chief engineer led me to the northern side of the island, skirting the chicken woods. We passed through a number of what can only be termed checkpoints as fierce-eyed rats shouldered their derringers and saluted the chief engineer. Soon we come upon a small colony, smaller than some of the infestations I had encountered in London flats. Perhaps only fifty rattus faber altogether, working diligently to fortify their side of the island. Oh my god, can I not get out of this at all? Um, apparently this is going to keep going, and I just realized we're past five. Um. Let's see. I, I think we're kind of stuck here. Um, so we're going to... We're gonna save. Um, I don't know where this auto saved actually, but at this point, I think we have to stop because it is five, and I do have to worry about food and um, D and D prep after this. So this is this is chaos. I don't know if our intrepid Grimshank is dead or not at this point. We will have to see. Um. <laughs> We'll have to save that for next time, I suppose. But, um, this... This is unexpectedly chaos. I'm enjoying it, but it is chaos, man. I'm honestly surprised this captain has survived this entire stream. I was expecting him to die, like, about... Maybe an hour ago. So it's kind of a pleasant surprise that, um, he survived at all. <sighs> yes, thank you guys so much for coming with me and for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying this too. Like, I, I'm i still not entirely sure what to make of this game. But I'm having fun at least. So, as far as I'm concerned, that is the important thing. And I hope you all are enjoying as well. Um, if you're new around here and you've enjoyed this today, there is a heart-shaped button down that way. That you can click on and make sure you have the notification bell next to it rung so you know when we're live next. Next stream is going to be Thursday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be playing some ESO. We're going to be digging up some more antiquities. It's going to be a fun time. Just a nice, chill, relaxing stream. Because sometimes we need that during the week. To be quite honest with you guys. It's not a game I think I'd play, but I'm enjoying watching it. Which is fair. Which is fair. Um, it's not the sort of thing I expected to enjoy either, but I'm having fun with it. So, <laughs> it's a lot more talking than I think I sort of expected it to be. But um, it is what it is. <sighs> Let's see, who can I send us all to when we're done here today? Uh, who is on? Ah, okay. So new friend of ours um by the name of luna is currently streaming right now streaming some eso i'm not entirely sure what they're how much longer they're on for but um luna is a good bean and you know it is a fun time i think so um I'm going to set up a little host for Luna after this, so please go over and say hi. Share some filth hearts if you can. If not, that's fine. It's totally cool. Have a good nap, Gailey. As for me, I'm going to go figure out what I'm consuming for food and then get set up for D&D. So, until I see you guys again on Thursday, you all have a good rest of your evening and weekend and have a good week. And I will see you all really soon. Bye, guys.